Hey guys, welcome to yet another great episode of the Tech Review with yours truly, Willie Professor. We are here over at the Samsung brand store at Two Rivers and I tell you, these guys are amazing. I love their reception, their customer service and you know, their on-time execution is amazing. So a very big shout out even as we begin to the staff at the Samsung brand store at Two Rivers, that's on the second floor. These are an amazing bunch of people. Now, last week on the Tech Review, we spoke about, you know, does megapixels always mean a better, a better photo? And, you know, we came to the conclusion that megapixels don't always mean a better photo. And we saw that uh, as we uh, examined the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE, which has a 12 megapixel camera, and, you know, we, we realize that today cameras are half hardware and half software. So the, in, uh, the image signal processing in the, in the processor, in the phone, and also, you know, the kind of uh, work that goes in the software to produce the kind of shots and computational photography. But today I want to answer the question, you know, and uh, I remember last week we, we spoke and asked guys, you know, please uh, shout, us, uh, shout out some questions that you guys would like us to know concerning smartphones, you know, and the guys who asked, uh, that, let's talk about RAM, let's talk about, you know, quite a couple of things. And I just want to go th over some of uh, the questions that you guys, you guys asked. And I'm specifically going to answer a specific question uh, about what a smartphone ecosystem means. You know, we have to uh, really understand what a smartphone ecosystem means. So that's the question that uh, today I intend to answer. And I, I believe at the end of this uh, show, we are going to understand a couple, quite a couple of things about a smartphone ecosystem. Now, let me explain this. With the latest move, uh, trying to understand IoT, that's the Internet of Things, and smart homes, you know, that's going to be our future, where your home is smart and you control everything from the touch of your smartphone, because smartphones today have become a very integral part of our day-to-day -day lives. So it's very important for us to understand how the smartphone will power our future. And we don't have to wait so long to see that future because some of these things have been uh, made capable by very great innovations in the, in the line of technology. We are talking about, you know, pairing your, small, your, your phone with a, with a smartwatch, pairing it, you know, with uh, wireless earphones and all that. And this together forms what we call an ecosystem. Now, there are quite a number of, of companies that have begun to move over into the ecosystem kind of things. But specifically, I'm going to feature or focus on what Samsung is doing because they happen to have one of the greatest, uh, for me, uh, what is one of the greatest ecosystems around, which, which does not just focus on the things that you can do around your phone, even over to the things that you can have in your house and, you know, do a lot of tech in your house. So what's an ecosystem? So an ecosystem is a group of other technology appliances that you can use around your smartphone that are all together smart. So we are talking about, number one, we are talking about watches, that's smart watches. We are talking about wireless earphones. We are also talking about, you know, tablets. We are talking about televisions like the Samsung QLED range or the Crystal UHD range. We are talking about smart fridges, you know, and smart washing machines. And this is what is going to be very closely be our future where you have something in your fridge and maybe you run out of a certain uh, stock, maybe groceries are out, maybe milk is out and the, and the fridge sends a notification over to your phone as you're driving back from work and tells you, you know what, you just don't have enough milk and it tells you, you know what, you need to buy some more milk so that you can stock up your fridge. And that's where we are at right now. And I can imagine all this powered with the innovations that are coming because of 5G. It's going to be an amazing experience. So in this segment, I'm going to talk about some of the things that you can use together in the Galaxy ecosystem that help your day-to-day -day life become way easier. And I'm going to start off very fast with the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live. Well, Samsung just doesn't have the Galaxy Buds Live. They also have the Buds Plus and the original Buds. And these are wireless earphones and the good thing about this is they help you you know ideally when if you're a, if you love listening to your music you can ideally enjoy your music on this they have very nice sound for their price range and not only that they don't only give you music or the, your ability to enjoy music 
but they are also good for calls. I've answered quite a couple of calls on, you know, on my Galaxy Buds Live, this black edition over here. And the call quality on this is amazing. I tend to hear every time whatever the other person is saying, and they also get to hear me very well because the kind of mics they've built in into this system is able to give you that clear sound and also it's able to cancel out, you know, background noise so that the other person at the end of the call is able to hear you well. So we're talking about if you're doing your exercise, you're doing your TZ, you're doing your warm-ups, you're doing your gym, you're running, these are a very good companion for that because ideally you just don't have to have wires dangling over from your ears and uh, you guys know there are quite a number of good experiences that happen uh, and uh, wires always cut. But with wireless technology, you're able to enjoy all that seamlessly as you move from one point to another. Now, an interesting feature, and I'm going to show you how these Galaxy Buds will pair or work well with your watch, is anytime you're going for a fitness activity, maybe you're going for exercise, you're going for running, you don't always have to have your phone with you. You can ideally leave your phone at home, put all the music that you need on your watch, and pair your watch with this and because all of them are connected into that ecosystem you don't need to have a whole unpairing and repairing all over again no it's as easy as you just plug them in and bam you're good to go now the samsung galaxy watch 3 this has to be you know a very good innovation when it comes to health and I know most of us have been working from home and, you know, we've been enjoying that kind of experience. Or some of us work from the office space and, you know, in the office, you just have maybe your long days seated and that's how easily people either gain weight or become very unfit. But one of the good features that come with the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3 is the ability for the watch to detect how long you've sat and give you rem periodic reminders, you know what, to take a stretch, to take a walk, and this help you with that activity. Now, the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3 has quite a number of health features. Now, not only does it tell you the time, so it's not just a watch that tells you the time, but it also tells you your heart rate. So you can ideally just have keep tabs on your heart rate using the Galaxy Watch 3, and all those notifications are synced over to your phone. So not only does it tell you, you know, your, your heart rate, it also begins to measure your sleep patterns. So you can easily and comfortably measure how long you've slept, the different stages of sleep. And with the Galaxy Watch 3 and the new uh, One UI, it's able to give you a sleep score. So it tells you, you know, your sleep was good or your sleep was bad so that you can able to better understand your sleep patterns then therefore make amendments where you need to make amendments with your sleep. You know, uh, someone says, or it is said through research that most of us spend almost half of our lives sleeping. So ideally, you have to get the best kind of sleep even in that time so that you can get to enjoy the hours you spend asleep. And the coaching on the Galaxy Watch 3 also on your sleep is amazing. The sleep tracking is going to be an amazing, amazing feature. Now, so not only does it tell you the time, not only does it, does it measure your heart rate or your sleep, the Watch 3 comes with blood oxygen. So blood oxygen is the, is the amount of oxygen that you have in your blood. And this is made capable because of the Galaxy Watch 3 range. So it's able to give you your, your percentage. Ideally, anything from 90% uh, going upwards is good. So anything less than that means your uh, blood oxygen levels are pretty low and you should be alarmed about them. So some of these things, as uh, Samsung puts them, at the moment, should not give, uh, sh they should not be used in the place of medical equipment. But... I believe for me it's, it's a very good opportunity just to know what's my blood oxygen just from a glance, what's my you know, blood rate uh, at a glance. And coming very soon on the Galaxy Watch 3 because it, it, it has all these capabilities is the ECG, that's the electronic cardiogram and blood pressure. So you can see where I'm going with this. You can take blood pressure readings from the watch. So no longer do you need to go to the pharmacy or to the doctor or buy that kit to uh, keep tabs on your blood pressure. With your watch, you're able to take blood pressure readings. And this is soon coming 
to the Kenyan market. So if you get the Galaxy Watch 3, it's just going to be come over. Uh, it's, go it's going to come over a software update and you can be able to enjoy these amazing features. So now, so you have your watch. You have your buds so you can be able to enjoy your music. You can be able to enjoy your calls and you have your watch. So this is what happens. The watch, because it is indeed a smartwatch, it syncs all your notifications, so you can get to all your calls on this. So if you're in a meeting, you don't always have to be that kind of a guy who chucks out your phone and uh, you, know, you have to uh, uh, decline calls. You can easily do all that on the watch. Now, we're talking about the syncability between all these three. So if you have your buds on and a call comes in, you can easily pick the call on your watch and it's automatically going to be answered on the Galaxy Buds Live or the Galaxy Buds, or the Galaxy Buds Plus, and you can have your conversation all, all without removing your phone from the pocket. So that's quite an interesting thing. So you can able to see who is calling, and if it's declining, you need to decline, you can be able to decline and tell them why you're declining that call. It syncs all your messages. You can also be able to reply quickly to messages over on the watch. So all this syncability forms what we call part of the galaxy ecosystem now if you also have the privilege of getting yourself the samsung galaxy tab s7 with one from one ui 2.0 going upwards they introduced a feature called call and text on other devices so what does this mean if i have my tablet and my phone and all of them are synced to my samsung account and I'm going to go quickly into that uh, before I finish this. If I, ha I have all that, if a call comes on my phone, but I am on the tablet, I can easily pick the call on the tablet and answer it as, as easy as that. So a call comes on my phone, but I was on, a, on my tablet uh, binging on some Netflix content or some YouTube. I can see the notification here and I can be able to easily answer that on this device same happens to the galaxy z fold 2 so if you're using the galaxy z fold 2 you've paired all these things together with your samsung account you can be able to have that kind of syncability with all these devices so we are talking about amazing stuff going over on the ecosystem now this is just a small part of the ecosystem so we're talking about you have your buds you have your z quite a number of fridges, smart fridges, and I, I, ju I just mentioned this. You can have your fridge and it's connected to your Wi-Fi at home. And that's why we're all going. Very soon, Wi-Fi is going to become more of a need than a luxury. It's going to become more of a necessity because you're going to have so much appliances that use this kind of system that you ideally just want to do all that. So you have your fridge at home connected to Wi-Fi. You have your smart TV Oh, uh, from the you know from the smart series the QLED series or the UHD series you have all that connected and all that is synced in something we call Samsung smart things so if you buy a Samsung phone you go over to the settings up there you're gonna see something we call Samsung smart things so Samsung smart things is what enables you to control all your what we'd call IoT or your, or your smart devices at home from that one app. So it comes pre-installed on almost all Galaxy devices. So from there, you can control your TV. And ideally, this is going to be interesting. You can be watching your TV and your phone maybe is in the bedroom. And because they're all connected, you can see calls on the TV. You, know, you can see messages on the TV. You can see, you know, all your social updates on the TV. So ideally, you don't have to always have your phone next to you when you're watching your TV. Your TV can be, uh, your phone can be charging in the bedroom and you're in the, in, in the sitting room and you can be able to enjoy all that. And not only that, but one of the things that the ecosystem is going to bring is you can be watching your football, maybe you're watching your game and you don't want to miss any part of that game and you want to take a very quick uh, toilet break. Ideally, you can just pick up your phone, move over uh, as you leave the sitting room going over to where you're going. The game will, be, will move from your TV to your phone so you can ideally continue watching it over there as you enjoy that kind of content. So you can imagine... As you grow over into whatever the ecosystem is going to bring for us, it's going to be an amazing range of interestingly good 
devices. So, see you guys next time. Let's talk on the next episode.